Okay, let's get this started. Um, hello, my name is Tim, and I am playing Pure Solar, PC version. I'm not going to go through the trouble of getting the Genesis version. This is, as you can tell, a retro style RPG. Uh, we've got pixel graphics. I actually have multiple settings of graphics I could be using, but I chose to go with the, uh, they're calling them 16-bit graphics, and it looks the part, just because I feel nostalgic. Um, I've already gone through the first little bit of the game. I haven't gotten to the first dungeon yet, but I'll get there eventually. Uh, this is indicative of the style of game in the sense that there's a lot of dicking around you can do. Um, there's a minigame involving watering watermelons, there's chickens to harass, uh, unfortunately it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, anyway, a uh, couple of different places, I mean, you know, this is your starting zone. We'll head to the forest here. Hmm. Side quests. I've already gotten a couple of different side quests now. Uh, I think we heard about this guy earlier. I think I heard about this guy in the first town. He wants food and yeah. I do read rather quickly, so if you got a problem with that, that's kind of too bad, I guess. Um, I'm catching bunnies. Uh, so this is kind of nothing new to me. Uh, looks like the bunnies do not respawn. That was kind of hidden. And I caught them all. stuff. He gave me a game cartridge. Okay, that's... Okay, he gave me a game cartridge. This is a fantasy realm. He gave me a game... Well, I suppose my little blonde boy there, who's apparently 13, because this is a Japanese-style role-playing game, um, makes robots. That's why I've got that little radar thing in the top of the screen there. Uh, it's because he made me a robot that has a radar and a map. And I'm not even gonna try to pretend to care or argue about that. <sighs> Dicking around in these forests because eventually I think I have to go to Raja's forest. But in the meanwhile I'm gonna screw around him. Oh, and it looks like they did that thing to save space where the maps all exist in the same plane. They just segmented off from each other. Look a bunny. No, I couldn't catch it. That's too bad. Big dead thing. We're in a chest. An antidote in a syringe. Yeah, we're definitely looking at a, an anachronism stew type setting here. Hmm. Map says there should be a path there, but there is clearly not. Oh well. looted everything we can loot from this particular area. Let's head into the forest. Well, the plot relevant forest anyway. A battle. My goodness. And pretty generic looking. Attack abilities looks like my various attacks use up statusy things. Let's see what happens when I Ooh, Aqua Arrow. And apparently the kid can throw rocks. Alright, that's that's fine. Hmm. Looks like the standard overinflated stats as far as numbers go. Ooh. 
never hit me pretty hard at least. I don't think I'm able to hit these guys with ground attacks if they're in the air. Okay, I get it. So the kid's gonna not do anything at all. Oh, maybe it's because his target died. I hate that. Now let's throw a rock at him. I mean, I sort of get that it's part of the challenge, I suppose, but uh, when you have enemies that just It's just one of those things for convenience's sake where when somebody's target dies, uh, the game really probably ought to retarget for you. Because, I mean, it's, it's a wasted turn, and I get that it's, it's a strategy thing, but still. It's a strategy thing that I don't know if anybody actually likes, it just exists because they didn't bother to code it differently. It's hard to attack. Yeah, let's test it. Let's see if... Blondie there will attack. Oh, he did. So I guess that's not that what was going on there. <laughs> Just gonna pause it for a second. a short break and now I'm back and we're wandering around a forest and there's a treasure just down there. Uh, it sort of looks like the orange treasure chests are ones that have already opened and yellow ones are fresh ones. Found a feather. Uh, there's one kind of over there. Let's see. It looks like I can't get there from here. The map, at least, is a nice touch that I, I appreciate. So that makes life a lot easier. <sighs> Alright, so... Fairly bog standard as far as everything seems to be going so far. There's a charge mechanic. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Maybe my attacks get better if I charge. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll try that next fight. Yay, earned money. Earned XP. Oh, she leveled up. Yay. And the characters are aware of it. That's... It's always quaint. Oops. Oh, cool. So that's where the other entrance to the forest is. Okay. And if I go that much further... Okay. Um, for the record, I am not, like super giving a damn about, you know, not doing dumb things over and over. I'll try my best to not lose, but, um, like, if I keep switching off the maps and going the wrong place and doing this because I'm talking, it's just, that's the way it's gonna be, and you either like it or not, I don't care. Alright, she can heal, so how about you heal Blondo Calrissian over here? Advantage means I got a free turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and gather with him just to see what it does. And I'm gonna try to take out that spider before it does anything to me, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna hurt whatever it does. I was right! What are the odds? Alright, let's see what gathering is. He's charging up his laser. Okay. Again. Wait. 
Ah, and I can transfer gather, so I can have one person focus on gathering, and the rest of the people focus on dealing hurt. Now, my next question is, does... Avocado Blast. Okie dokie then. He will now spit avocados. Um, let's heal up my lead. Which, with a heal spell that does way more health than it probably needs to for being the first level spell. But I guess that's going to be indicative of how much hurt I'm going to be taking later on. No, gathering does not... Over. I don't even know if I have any attacks that are gather related yet, so I'm not sure if there's any point in worrying about doing that. As well as having the graphics set to archaic mode, I also have the music set to be uh, emulating what the sound system would have been doing on, like, original Genesis hardware. At least I'm assuming that's that's what this is. Um, it's not the fancier music that you can set the game to. It's just because like, it's scratching my nostalgia I know right now. I just felt like, you know, experiencing things the way they once were. Because I'm a twat. Right, it looks like I can maybe get there from down and around this corner here. Maybe? Ah, here we go. Looks like all they did for their advantage was they... that guy moved over. That'd be great. <sighs> Good job with the AI there, guys. Can't open chests from the side, which is just... Ooh! I got a sword! Yeah, I, I made the kind of rookie error of uh, worrying about buying equipment in the first town without realizing that of course I'm going to find all this stuff in chests as I play. Yeah, I now have two cartridges and I don't know what they're for. Maybe I'll find a console at some point. Oh, cool. I got one of those accessories. Ah, uh, sure. Wait, what did that say? You can stone your... Great. And it works on everything except swine flu. Wow. This is... <sighs> well, here we are. And I've got a... The electrode is my re revive item, I guess. Which, again, we're going for that delightful combination of... Uh, anachronisms and fantasy setting. I'm not sure it came up in the uh, early bit, but the old blonde boy is like 13, supposed to be the main lead brown haired kid is supposed to be 16, I guess, and I don't know how old the girl is intended to be, but she's probably like 15 or something. I'm gonna go here because this was where the there was a mention earlier of a chest and this was it and this guy gave me a quest to find his treasure
Oh, a moral choice. Yeah, I'm gonna call the guards. that at all actually that's not something that yeah that that's okay that was cute that it let you do that at least and then back to the forest uh, let's see I think I know I need to head north but I don't remember if I need to head north via whoop, ambush I don't know if I need to head north from this side of the bridge or not, is what I was trying to say. Uh, so yeah, this is... I mean, it's not bad. It's kind of generic in terms of gameplay and mechanics. I mean, it's not doing anything that... Uh, like Lunar didn't do. It's not doing anything that... Um, not doing anything that Grandia didn't do, it's not... I mean, it's, it's... It's sort of unfair to be even be comparing it to them, at the moment at least, because it's it's starting out very generic. It's starting out as the hero story. At, at least we're not trying to save anybody. I mean, we're not trying to save the world from anything or anything like that right now. All we're trying to do is get stuff to help the kid's dad get healed before the doctor can get back to town. I mean, that's at least not, oh, we gotta go out and save the universe, or, oh no, the church is being attacked by demons. It's just one kid trying to help his dad. And I can appreciate that. I, I like, I can appreciate a story where you're not throwing the main character into a impossible situation right from get-go. Or where you're you're treating the the ten year old as if they should be the one to go out and save everyone. I mean that's a lot of traps that a lot of RPGs fall into, especially especially JRPGs. Western RPGs generally don't seem to have that problem. And there have been a lot of uh, GRPGs popping out that have been trying to get away from that, or at least marketing it to different groups, because of course that's the that's the way the Japanese market likes it is the the kid going on the epic journey. Western audiences aren't, at least I'm not as interested in that kind of thing, and it seems ridiculous to me. Things like like near uh, kind of took that into account. You've got the the American version where the main character is an old man, and you've got the Japanese version where the main character is a kid, and they even get to the trouble of changing the relationship between the hero character and the victimized, you know, got to save them character, where the person you're trying to save is is the the daughter in one version and the sister in the other and that's you know that that's it's an effort arguably it's a misplaced effort because you know make your story the way you want it and don't worry about it but at the same time it's it's interesting to give 
the sort of regional differences a, a gesture. It's a little odd that the, the graphic, the characters are clearly going underneath the target to attack them, as opposed to coming up next to them, which I'm guessing is just because of the, the active portion for the purposes of the animation is set to the bottom of the sprite, as opposed to being more sensibly placed, like in the middle of the sprite. for me. I can actually turn up and down the encounter rate, which again is something I kind of I can appreciate, but at the same time I don't think I'll ever really want to use on as a stairwell hidden there. Because I mean the, the encounters are coming kind of fast, but I'm also getting experience, so it's it's okay. It's not like it's, you know, there's nothing you get out of these fights. I'm also hoping it's not a grindy issue where I, if I'm under leveled at certain points in the game, I just won't be able to to continue. Although I haven't seen a level up since the first one for my two leads. Did I equip that sword I found? Yeah, clearly. everyone be equipped with something. That's a space avocado I just summoned there, and did damage with for reasons which I will never be able to adequately explain to myself or others. This is almost as bad as that space Jesus incident. I know there are a lot of those, but there was a... Going back to, to Grandia, Grandia 2, which was a great game. It was, it was a really, really good game. Um, but unfortunately, it fell into a lot of the tropey traps of the genre, as you know, the church is evil, blah 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 blah. Um, but the last boss, or the boss just before the last boss, uh, was a like the the pope figure turned into this big pineapple-y thing that was like supposed to be the eye of the the main demony guy. Which was the whole plot of the game. But it looked more like a pineapple. And so it was kind of... The, the pineapple Jesus thing became sort of a running gag for a little while. Got some metal coins. That's something this game does that I kind of like. Uh, instead of telling you, oh, you picked up 11 gold in the on the map screen at least, it shows that you picked up a thing that is worth a value. So it doesn't, you don't know how much money you've really picked up in the sense that you know you picked up a gold bar, or you picked up a pile of metal coins or something like that. Um, and I like that. I like the fact that it's not just here's 12 gold pieces. <sighs> I kind of, over the years, I've sort of leaned more towards liking the idea of vendor trash instead of money in rewards for things money direct money indirectly at least um, 
simply because, I mean, it makes more sense in terms of the world to be getting bits and bobs off of creatures as opposed to money. somewhere um, I mean I understand why a lot of uh, why you don't want to do it in many cases I, I get it's it's an extra step between getting the player a reward or giving a player a reward and the player actually being able to make use of the reward and I get that in, in terms of game design that's not good you want everything to be fairly immediate in terms of the the here's your reward now you get to use it mentality. Did I miss a key? No, I did not. Maybe it'll come up later. Um, or maybe it'll be through here. But it just feels better to me. It, it feels nicer. It feels sort of... Uh, again, it, it's more congruous with the world around me that the, the jelly isn't going to have money on it. The jelly is going to have a core that I can then sell for a little bit of money. The bug guy isn't going to have money on him. I can collect his wings or his organs or his whatever. And then sell them to somebody for a little bit of money. And common enemies drop common trash and so on. And that, that makes sense and that is... Damn it. There's a pathfinding system that I have turned on which so far has been useful. A safe space. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen next. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and... Eat our veg. Hmm, why? Well, let's provide me with gather. Okay, now we know. So, regular fruit and food gives me gather. Okay. I don't know. The camera hasn't panned. Ah, it's some sort of underground. Okay. Well, at least it's sentient, and it's got a choice in the matter of attacking me. Makes me feel better, I guess. Oh, that's annoying. Again, I don't know what Gather does, so I don't know if I want to bother worrying about having plenty of gather. Ooh, a fireball. You cannot cast it though, because maybe that's what gather is. Maybe he needs to gather enough to use his fireball. Whoa! That hurt. He now has one gather. So maybe that means he can use his fireball. Uh, on the other hand... Let's see if I can... I know what that accomplished. That did some damage right there. Kind of wish I, strictly speaking, knew how much health this guy had. 
Oh, and I don't need to keep... I did not lose my gather. I still have the one point. Okay. So it's... Huh. Assuming he's like my first boss guy. Okay, he's dropping off those little goops. And that's the whole point of that, is just to create goops. Oh, and we won. Huzzah. So we're getting Precursor Society stuff. We're getting... Yeah, we're... At least I'm not getting any fights down here. Yet. <laughs> I.E. give it a minute. So this is the, yeah, this is a safe zone because it's, yeah. These characters are dull. They, they've they've got chemistry with each other, but they're not really very interesting to listen to.
Oh, and this will be my quick travel back out is the... Yep. And they'll quick, quick travel back out and back to town. Where the hell have you been, young man? Mommy's got a cook. <sighs> Did it work? Did it work? Who cares? Oh, stabilize his condition. This is ER. Well, this seems like a pretty natural place to stop, so I'm going to go save, and then we'll be done for the day. I really hope this record worked out, because I've been going through a lot of misrecords and bad records and overdubbing and a lot of shit to get this working. I really hope this one worked out okay, because I liked this one. This one was fun. And that was my prologue. Yep. Oh, that's what the... Oh, this is cute. This is them making us think that we've reached the end of the game. Oh. Alright, well. With that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Goodbye.